Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and um, basically I'm going to be um, telling you about what you should expect when you're preaching. Um, I've experienced this before, and let me just tell you right now what I know about the world. Um, the world absolutely hates um, God, Jesus. That's what they hate. The world hates Jesus Christ because he is... Um, the one that will save humanity from the devil, and the devil is the one that th that does not want that to happen. That's why the that's why the world's people um, are you know delusional by you know the devil, and they have been tricked by the devil to hate Jesus. You know, so, so going forth, you know. So the reason why. Um, the people are confused is because the devil is more powerful than human beings. And that's true. And the only reason why you're saved is because Jesus uh, chose you. He chose you to be with him. Even though you're still sinning. I mean, we are to try our best. But we're still sinners on the earth. But not we're not exact, we're not direct sinners. What I'm trying to say is that we still sin, but we're not. But um, we're trying. We try to be. A, we're to try to be our best. So, and demons are really powerful. So, if you are to preach the word to everyone and to preach the word of God to everyone, to be very wary about um, the people that um, absolutely you know, they have no control over themselves and they. I feel that the devil's hate and just, you know, only God can save them because, you know, humans are weaker than dem devils and devils are weaker than God and so forth. So try to know, um, try to pray for the people and try to give people love and respect because, um, even though I'm chosen from God and I accepted God into my heart and accepted that he died on the cross for me, I still have to be baptized in his name and have his Holy Spirit and get his Holy Spirit to make me, make me get into heaven and also the fact that he should um, be able to, you know, you know, also have him kind of like but I also have him, you know, you know, you should also not, you know, you know, I'm going to talk again. But you should also not, um, try to be of the world. You should really try to connect with Jesus a lot and, you know, and, you know, try to, you know, be filled with love. Try to be filled with love and try to understand that, you know, with God everything's possible, I mean, but we're still, we're still sinners. We're not perfect, guys. And to try our best and to be uh, filled with the spirit and try to love others like God loves us. I mean, basically, you know, God really understands our struggles and we will not end our struggles until we get to heaven. And that's very much true. And, um, you know, for a person to say that um, they're completely sinless, they are fools, and they are mocking the God's word, because no one is completely sinless. We to reach out to God to reach out to others, and in order to do that, is to accept that you're a sinner, but also that fact that you're not perfect, and you should all accept that 
God is the one that can change your heart from the world. You're not to be part of the world, but you should still accept that, um, you know, not be part of the world, but be part of God's children. So, if the, the final thing I want to say is, accept only God and his children. And try not to be part of the world, even though you make mistakes. Because no one is perfect. No one will ever be unperfect on earth until the new earth comes. So, yeah. Pretty much what I said, okay? I'll be done now, okay? Bye.